thought um, our team played much better in the second half of the game. Uh, I give DePaul a lot of credit in the first half. They came out, they were ready to play. You know, our team executed on the offensive end of the floor from the start of the game to the end of the game. We have to continue to shore up some of the details um, on the defensive end of the floor. And we have to continue uh, to keep getting better on that end. Uh, but I did think our guys played hard, especially in the second half. Uh, our guys played together. We shared the ball. Uh, it was a different style of game uh, from the first game, uh, which was good for our team, and we had to make some adjustments during the game. Uh, but our guys played together, uh, and they played hard. We just definitely needed to start out better than what we did, and uh, the coaches really pointed that out in the locker room that we needed to bring uh, more energy and toughness in the second half. So um, I think it's the team we brought upon ourselves to kind of bring that. Dunham drives into the lane, count the basket and one. Dunham draws the contact and he'll head to the line for one more. I just put in uh, some time and uh, really focused on uh, critiquing some of my skills and things like that so I could be able to be more aggressive uh, and make it more efficient for our team. Dunham the other way, knocks it down. Kellum has 23 points. Harlow still giving chase, gets it back. Hands it over to Brown, behind the back! Here's Brown! What an effort play by Alex Barlow, though. Cam Woods sends it out of there. You can see that developing. Couple exciting plays, gets the Hinkle fans on their feet. Brown tries a three-point attempt, knocks it down, and one. Devontae gives you energy and a lift off the bench on the defensive end of the floor. And I think everybody saw it tonight. He's guarded by Devontae Morgan. That'll be an interesting matchup. Devontae takes it away. He's got Brown out on the right. Brown straight to the basket and slams it. Especially with Rose being out this year, I was trying to uh, come off the bench and just have that defensive spark. You know, he can change the game uh, on that end of the floor. And, you know, I thought the game was going in the direction uh, in the first half. Uh, and we needed to change that direction. He came in and gave us a lift and changed the game. Overall, there's a lot of good things that happen in both exhibition games. And what, why I'm happy right now is our, our team continues to progress. Uh, we continue to get better. Um, and even though you're not 100% smiling and laughing about the defensive end of the floor and you say, hey, we're there, we arrived, you know, we need to continue to get better. But we're progressing. We are getting better as a team. We're playing together on both sides of the ball. Um, and it's early. It's early. And I think teams early on in the year need to get better in, in certain areas. And we're, we, we need to get better. All in all, pretty successful exhibition season here for the Butler Bulldogs concludes. No kidding. 93-68. Teams shake hands. And Butler 2-0 in the exhibition contest a week before the regular season takes center stage.